God. This team is atrocious. There's not even going to be any stats. There's going to be no stats. This is going to be directly from a diehard Sixers fan. This team sucks. Everything about this team has been a total lie. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but this whole video is going to be me ranting about one of the worst, best teams I've ever watched in my life. And what that means is, they can be good. We all, we've seen it. They were 5-0 and to start the season. They beat the Lakers. They beat the Bucks. They beat the Six or the Celtics three times this year. But right now, they are awful. We started a three-game road stand. I said we were going to go 2-2. Two and two. We are now 0-3 on this road trip. We lost to the Hawks. We got killed by the Celtics. We lose by 31 points to the Heat. Something has to change. Whether it be the coach, whether it be the rotations, whether it be trading a superstar, <coughs> Tobias, Ben, Joel, who cares? Do something to change this team, to change this mentality, to change the winning culture of Philadelphia 76ers basketball. Because right now, this team is a joke. They are an absolute laughing stock right now. They stink. It's a, it's that simple. They stink. They stink. Three straight games you lose after beating the Lakers. We are sitting at sixth by like three game by like two games now. We're in sixth place. Behind the Pacers by two games. We have 20 losses on the season. Not a single team has 20 losses in the top six except us. It's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. I can't even explain how bad this team is playing right now. I can't. It's awful. It's awful. 31 points? Really? This is why Jimmy Butler left. Maybe it's because, you know, we didn't give him a max contract. But they stink. This team's trash. Jimmy drops 38 points in three quarters yesterday. He would have had like 50 if if it was somewhat of a close game, which it's not because it, why would it ever be a close game against a good team in the Eastern Conference? Uh, especially on the road. Why would it ever be that? It would never be that. Joel, yeah, okay, you had 29 points and 10 rebounds. No, Tobias and Horford combined. They combined for 12 points. This is a hundred. This is $280 million combined in two players, dropping 12 points total. 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 Between two people. You dropped 12 points? Are you kidding me? It's a joke. It's an absolute joke to the NBA. That we as Sixers fans ever thought. Wow, we could win an NBA championship this year. This could be our year. No. This team is a joke. I couldn't even watch the game yesterday. It was that bad. It was that bad. As soon as the fourth quarter started, I turned. I, I have a double. I have my double, uh, you know, thing going on. I had the Flyers on my laptop and the Sixers on the TV. I switched. I, I couldn't do it. Why would I put my main focus on a team that's down by thirty-five points? Why would I ever do that to myself? At least the Flyers can get a win when they need to. At least they can beat the worst team in the Eastern Conference on the road like they did last night. They beat Detroit, who sucks in Detroit.
uh, like, this, this team stinks. This team is a joke. I've never seen anything this bad before in my life from a top tier team in the NBA. You go from beating the Lakers without Embiid to losing three straight games. It's just unheard of. It's just embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Does Josh Richardson mean that much to this team? Does he really? Like, does he honestly? Does does he mean that much to this team that since he's been out, we can't find a way to win on the road? I, I, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's so bad. It's so bad. It pains me to watch this team play basketball every other night. It pains me. I can't stand it. I can't do it. I cannot physically sit in front of my TV for two and a half hours and watch the game. Because the only reason why I do that is because they're on the road. Because every time they're they're at home, oh, we're, we're, we turn in to the 83 Sixers. We don't lose a game ever. But now, as soon as we hit the road, oh my God, we're the, we're the Bobcats. We're the 9-win Bobcats. We're the 10-72 and 72 Sixers. We're, we, we went all the way back in 2015 when we were 10-72. and 72. That's what this team reminds me of when we play on the road. We are so bad. So bad on the road. It's an absolute joke. It's a joke. We play the Bucks on Thursday. My God. We're, we're going to get killed. We might lose by 45 points. Literally. We, we stink that bad right now. Now the trade deadline is on Thursday. So we might not even have half the roster anyways. Because half of them could be gone. Al could be gone. Shake could be gone. Who knows? Anybody could be gone at this point. This team is so bad. Anybody could re- realistically be gone on this team. I don't think Matisse, Joel, Ben, Richardson, Horford, and Tobias are touchable. But everybody else, fair game. I I, I wouldn't even be surprised if Al Horford got traded. I wouldn't be su- surprised if Tobias got traded somehow. We are that bad. We're that bad. We're awful. Oh my god. It's an absolute joke to watch this team sometimes. Like, I will stand behind this team to the end of time. Till till my death date, I will be behind this team. But my god, is it hard to say, we'll be fine in the playoffs. We'll be Really fine in the playoffs. We'll do great. We're built for the playoffs. When we're losing by 30 points to the Miami Heat. Really? We just lost the season series to the Heat. We lose to Boston. We lose to Atlanta. We're going to get killed by Milwaukee. How can I as a Sixers fan believe that this team is going to do somewhat decently in the playoffs? How can I think that? What I think right now is we'll win the first round and we'll be like the Sixers from last year and lose in the second round. But we won't even make it to seven games this year. We won't. We won't even make it. We'll lose in like five games at this rate. If the f- if the season ended today, I, I, can't, I can't promise you a first round win. We'd play Boston or Miami in the first round and then... We'd play Milwaukee in the second. Milwaukee would absolutely own us right now. We are not that good. I don't know what moves we're gonna make on Thursday, but if we don't make any, this team will not. This team will not make it out of the first round. You get. I can promise you that this team will not make it out of the first round unless we get a good, a good or great score off the bench and shooters, because the zone. is kills us. The Heat played the zone. They outscored us 81 to 54 in the second half last night. It's a, it's embarrassing. It really is. As a Sixers fan, they're tattooed on my leg. All of them are. All four teams, Phillies, Sixers, Flyers, Eagles, they're all tattooed on me. 
They are embarrassing to watch right now. I can't go out of my house and confidently say Sixers will win the NBA Finals. Not like I could in the offseason. When we signed Al Horford, when we signed Tobias, when we signed Mike Scott, Ennis, you know, when we signed and traded Jimmy and Josh Richardson, I cannot physically say right now that this team will win the NBA Finals. I can't even say we're going to win the first round. Now that's it for this video. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm be making a Flyers video in the next couple minutes. I'm out. Peace. More updates on the trade deadline once they get there. Trades, everything like that. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm out.